hello again. Um, when I did the MG3442 videos a couple of years ago, one that I forgot to do, that I was reminded about by someone a few days ago, was how the Lafette tripod, in either or case, is folded up and carried by the number two assistant gunner. Um, as we've established in previous videos in this playlist, your MG42 or MG34 gunner team consisted of more than the actual operator of the gun and the guy who loaded it. Your gunner team can consist of up to eight people. Uh, most of them will be either carrying ammunition boxes or acting in a support role to protect the machine gun team proper. Um, one of the accessories for either or gun is the Lafette tripod, either the Lafette 34 or the Lafette 42. This tripod gives the either general purpose machine gun the capability of being more than just a bipod mounted offensive or defensive machine gun. The tripod gives the gun the ability to take on a heavy machine gun roll, either statically. It also gives the ability for the gun to be mounted in a fortress, in a bunker system. It's basically what the 34 or 42 tripod is. It's basically a steady platform to fire the gun from. That's what it is. It also, with an extra pole leg and set up in a certain configuration, it gives the gun the ability to be used in the anti-aircraft role. Now, as we know, the first gun to come out is the 34, supposed to be replaced by the 42. It never was. They both serve side by side. Some accessories fit either or guns, the drum mags, the normal belted ammunition, things like that. What doesn't fit either gun is the tripod. A 34 tripod will only fit a 34. A 42 tripod will only fit a 42. They both go up and come down in exactly the same way. They both come together in the same way. However, the 34 tripod is a more elaborate piece of machinery, a bit like the 34 machine gun itself. And then when the war got underway proper, they decided to ease the manufacture of the 34, out comes the 42. And it's the same with the 42 tripod. The 42 tripod is a simplified version of the 34 tripod. But in spite of it being a simplified version, the 42 tripod weighs one full pound more than the 34 tripod. The 34 tripod comes in at around 44 pounds, whatever that is in kilograms. So the, the 42 tripod is a pound heavier. So it must be made from heavier gauge metal. Um, what the two tripods have in common is when they are taken down, that is to say when they're folded up for transport, they are carried backpack style by the assistant gunner. Um, what the, the two tripods have in common apart from holding either gun is that they come complete with shoulder straps so they can be carried backpack style and each tripod on the front leg has two buffer pads, either leather or canvas covered. These buffer pads, when the tripod's set up, don't do anything. They are purposeless. <coughs> when it's folded up for transport, those buffer pads go against the guy's back who's carrying the actual tripod. Um, the tripod, when it's carried, is very well balanced in spite of the weight. The front of the straps have two additional little lugs on them so that when you're walking over heavy ground, you can grab those lugs and readjust it accordingly to suit the ground conditions. So when the item is worn, this is what you see against the wearer's back. Okay. What you have, now you see those two pads. These are the shoulder straps. Those two pads, which are useless when the gun's set up, those act as buffers against the carrier's back when they're worn. So, when the gun's folded up, it's held by a number of clips and there's a number of hinged areas where, where it folds up at. Um, when it's unfolded, the proper procedure first is to fold over the back legs, which they're hinged to fold forward. And then you unfold the front leg. When you've adjusted it to whatever height you want, you then, in the case of the 34, you pull the body up that the gun sits on because 
where the gun sits, the, the firing mechanism is actually hinged in a way that when the gun's folded, that firing mechanism falls under the frame when it collapses on itself. So if you look at, how can I do this? There we are. If you look at this area here, you can see, right, that's where the gun sits. Now, all the firing mechanism has been folded forward and it's now resting under here. So this lifts up, the firing mechanism with the range table hinges outwards. So we'll put this on and you can see how it's worn. Now ordinarily, with a, a group of eight machine gunners, obviously one of them would help the number two assistant gunner put the item on. But as it's just me, we shall give it a go without kind of knocking everything over. So, of course, they're like that. And this is 40, 44 pounds. That goes there like that. Get up, that's it. And you see what I mean about these adjusters? Once it's on, you kind of give it a bit of a jiggle. And that's your kind of holding on things. They're also looped like that, so you can put your hand through them. So you can kind of keep balance when you're walking over rough terrain. Now, if I stand upright, it's fairly comfortable. All the weight, all the weight is evenly spaced down the back. There's not one section that's heavier than the other bit, funnily enough. And those buffer pads at the back really do help as well because it keeps, it keeps the metal work kind of away from the body a bit. So from the side, looks like that. And from the back, it looks like that. Now you can see how it will be easy to access various equipment the number two will be carrying. Now the number two would either be carrying uh, four ammo boxes, two in each hand, or two ammo boxes in one hand and maybe his K98. Now he doesn't have to carry his own rifle because there's always enough people around him to protect him and the gun. And obviously other people will be carrying their own combat equipment and additional uh, spare barrels in containers and things like that. So the, there's a lot of people too, a machine gun team, irrespective of what you actually see in the movies. So this is how it's actually worn. It is quite, quite comfortable to wear, 44 pounds. Um, so what we'll do is we'll put this on the ground and we'll rearrange that camera so it's pointing downwards and we'll have a go at folding it out. Now this could go right or it could go wrong because I'm at an age now where you forget where all these hinges, clips and buttons are at. So it is quite an elaborate affair. So maybe in hindsight I should have done the MG42 one. But this will give you a good idea of how it all goes together. So we'll take it off. Again. Avoiding killing myself. Right, so we'll put that on the ground. Sort of back way on. Yep. That's where I need that to be. Right, so we'll adjust this camera to go over here and to point in a downward facing position. Yeah, that's about right, I think. I'll do. Now then, so the legs, that's the front of where the gun goes. Barrel, all the working bits. The back legs hinged here and here, folded over forward. These fold back to a stop molded on the leg. That gives you each leg the exact uh, levelness. So one's not up here and the other one's not down there. So we'll undo these clips and we'll pull that one out. Now that leg won't go any further down. Now I'm probably going to stick this higher than it would actually be used in combat. So that's one leg done. And the other leg, undo that. That comes over, goes down to the stop. Now you see that can't go any further. We'll do that up there. Now, the, <clears throat> the front leg has three clips to it. It's hinged at the front to fall back under. And there's a clip there which holds it to the frame. 
that clip locks it to the frame when it's undone there's also an additional clip which extends or retracts the height of the front leg the 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 back legs are one piece they're not adjustable the front leg <coughs> has a kind of tubular sheath where the the leg goes into so the leg can actually move up and down to get the height that's for kind of uneven ground so if you push that button there that releases the leg at the front and then what we do is we lift the front up like that the leg push that one there there's an additional clip just under there and then we pull that leg forward like that and that leg now I think does it yes it can do uh -huh. pull that a little bit further like that so that's that clip that does that leg there that clip there makes that leg come out there like that and now that actually sits like that now at no time do the shoulder stops come off so now because it's set up what were the buffer pads are now irrelevant they do not form any function at this particular point now let me just look through that camera again just to see you're looking at the same thing that i'm doing yeah it'll do now you may think right all we need to do now is put the gun on well no because we need to get the, at the fire mechanism now at the back and how we do that there's a clip here at the top when we push that forward this assembly lifts up and at the same time the fighting mechanism in the range table comes out so i'll do it this way first push that forward that comes forward that lifts up and you see that comes out goes back down and clips into place now what i need to do to get that level i maybe should have put the legs down a bit further so that they're not as high up as high up they do i think yeah that'll do i may need to put that front leg down a bit so i'll grab that adjuster buckle put, put that down a bit that's maybe it yep needs to connect with the hole yeah that's it so this is kind of higher than it would be in combat so by pushing that button it's pulled the firing mechanism back out the range table and everything else so if i turn this around turn this around to there just let me look through that camera again right okay so if we do it in reverse that's where the sight goes by the way if we do this in reverse we can push push that i think okay. push and pull like that or maybe not it's maybe locked on yeah it's locked on so what we'll do is we'll leave that locked on and so yeah so that's how it all kind of comes together there must be a button somewhere i think for collapsing it i think it's right there no it's not is it yeah there it does so to collapse it we'll put that together again and when you want it folded up for transport again to collapse it you pull that you pull that lever there you pull it up which loosens it and it hinges back down in itself watch you pull that lever there you pull up now what this does it releases all of this so now it hinges on there and on there and that all mechanism now folds back down into the gun when it's when it's all folded up and then it just goes down like that and then it's now i know the gun's set up on its legs but that that is now flat as it will be folded up it looks like it's at an angle because the legs are out but that is actually now flat for transport so to get it back up again you just grab all of it you release it pull like that 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 locks into place on the sides and then your gun your gun there's your gun you open this up and then your gun get shot with dust jacket your 
gun just now nearly goes into oops I've got it too far forward wait a minute it's going to hit something this is one of the problems with storing one of these things you need to have the room for it now it goes into there now it goes into there clips into there that goes up that goes over that goes down and that's your gun sighted and ready to go then of course you put your your sight on there so the next video um, I think one of the previous videos was about the the uh, night light thing so I'll leave this up and I'll do another video showing how to install the night light but yeah that's how the tripod folds up the the 34 is a little bit more complicated to the 42 one but that gives you at least a good idea of how it all kind of goes together yeah really nice item um but costs an arm and leg now also i'm going to redo my 34 video as well that i did a couple of years ago so there's this video on the tripod there's a video coming up on the gun and there's a video coming up on the uh the sighting mechanism so we'll see you for another video and obviously the way the way the tripod went up it goes down in the reverse way there's no point in me showing you how it all goes down but yeah it all, it all goes down in the same the same configuration so that's how the lafette tripod is folded unfolded for transport and use bye for now